Hi guys, um, those of you that uh, follow my Facebook page uh, will notice the pictures. Um, I've had a go at a couple of uh, hawk designs, one being a bushcraft style hawk and the second being a all out breaching tool. Um, having had you know, years of experience using ice axes and in anger as well as selling them um, and seeing and testing most of the designs on the market um, I think you can get a dam sight more power with a curved handle um, so this was the first drawing and quite a few people on my Facebook page said that it needed a straight handle um, I don't necessarily think it does need a straight handle however I think the geometry of the blade needed moving so what I did was da, 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 if I can just What I did was I spun the edge of the axe head around which created a similar sort of thing um, and obviously also a small bushcraft tool there. Uh, so what I did today was I made some plywood prototypes. Um, I have tweaked the design slightly um, which is much easier so if I get a better background so it's not as distracting. Um, so basically what I've done is I've altered the geometry of the edge slightly uh, put a bit more of a pronounced curve in there and the idea with this is you can now fit whereas the other one there was a pressure point here so I've now brought it so it's two fingers can fit into there or two fingers can fit into there and you've got full control of the edge uh, for small delicate tasks um, you've got flat edge there for push cutting and curve there. It's just a nice size. Um, I will try and make a drop leg sheath for it. And also if I have them cut into this shape, I can also give the option of having no spike on the back. Making it more of a, a hammer type tool. But that's the small one, it's nine and a half inches long. And this one, which is going to be my breaching tool, uh, we've had a bit of a mess around so we can get an idea of what it's like. Um, there's, I've altered the grip slightly, I've narrowed this section here, uh, narrowed this section here. Um, I want to widen that a little bit, I actually took too much off, had to glue with spacement. But you've got basically very, very solid hold there. Um, for with the curve and that will give it maximum power with a force being multiplied into this area here um, I may bring that back up a little bit uh, you've got secondary hold here where that little part there fills the palm it still gives you more control but again plenty of power you've got large area here and obviously choked up there. Uh, it will have a sharpened bottom edge uh, of the beard. will have a sharpened tantoishy kind of, I don't know what you call it, I'm sure it's got a proper name section there that you can see from the plywood. Um, it will come down to a more aggressive edge across here but not sharpened with this being it's too thick really to, to get a good idea but you can visualize it. The only thing that we have noticed is when holding it in reverse if you were to be popping locks with it um, because of the curve there it does create it puts your hand a little bit close to whatever you're hitting uh, but that can be very very easy alleviated by basically adding approximately three quarters of an inch to the tip and rotating the tip up slightly and that would bring your hand up and out the way of the design um, but yeah I'm running out of battery, so this is a quick vid. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'm sure within the next couple of months, we'll go to a scrapyard and we'll open a car up with it.